So I asked myself how I could convince people to give me money and I came up with the forest generator. So I needed some realistic trees. Most 3D trees suck, at least for close-ups. That is because most 3D artists have never seen one up close. So here's how to make some realistic trees. So the first thing I tried was the sapling tree curve add-on in Blender. This one comes with some good tree shapes and presets. But the problem is that the branches are not connected to the trunk. The branches are just stuck in there. So I tried to convert it into a mesh and tried to use a weld modifier to connect the branches to the trunk, which is a horrible process. And the biggest problem is that it messes up your UVs. UV unwrapping trees will turn your life into a nightmare, so don't do that. But I have found this add-on called M-Tree. which is a node-based tree generator. And the best thing about it is that it connects branches to the trunk and automatically gives us UVs. There are a few sources of this add-on and only one seems to work and that one is pretty hard to find. So just check out the links in the description. If you installed it, you get this new M-Tree tab. So let's start generating some trees. First of all, you're going to need a mesh node and then you can add a trunk node and connect it. So the controllers of the trunk node are pretty self-explanatory. So let's move on and add some branches. Just add a branch node and connect it to the tree trunk. This node also has easy to understand controllers. And the cool thing about this system is that you can put the branch node on top of each other or use two branches separately from each other and change the settings of the second one to generate roots. So if you experiment with the different parameters of the tree generator, you can pretty much create any tree shape you want. So in the trunk node, you can also click on add leaves. This automatically generates a geometry node setup, which scatters branches on your tree and you already have controllers for them in the modifier tab. You can also replace the twigs with your own. So, okay, great, you may say, but how do we get this realistic bark in the close-ups? And the answer is with displacement and geometry node stuff. But first we're gonna need a PBR tree material. You can go to ambient CG to find some free ones. Download the material, well done. If you enable the node wrangler tool, in Blender you can just hit Control shift t select all of the textures and it will set up the node tree for you. Okay, great, we got bark. So let's go into the geometry node setup of the leaves and make some space to edit your original tree and add in a set position node to displace the mesh with our bark texture. So add in a image texture and select the displacement map from the PBR material. And now you can connect the image texture to the offset to displace the mesh in the direction of the normal add in a math node and set it to multiply and combine it with a normal node. So now our texture is not using our UV map. So there is no UV node in the geometry nodes. So what we can do is go to the group input node and connect one of the empty sockets with the vector of the image texture. This adds this new controller in the modifier tab where we can hit this button and now select the UV map. So the mesh of the tree doesn't have enough geometry to displace the tree with a lot of detail. So we can add in a subdivision node. You can use a vector math node set to multiply to control the strength. Now we can see that the branches are also displaced which not only messes up the form, but also adds a lot of unnecessary detail that we don't need. We actually just want displacement and subdivisions on the bottom of the tree trunk. So we're going to use a gradient texture for that. Set it to spherical and let's add in a position node to the vector and add another vector math node set to divide. And with these factors, you can control the size of the gradient to select everything you want. Now we can add in a separate geometry node and use this gradient as a selection and set it from point to face. So now we got only the trunk of the tree. Now we can join this back together with the inverted selection. And now we have our entire tree shape back. So to get rid of this hard line between the displaced and the original mesh, we can duplicate the math node in front of the offset and use the gradient as the factor to gradually decrease the strength of the displacement so it merges seamlessly. And there we have it, a tree that also works for close-ups. So you can either buy the forest generator add-on on the Blender market or you can get just the tree models on my Patreon page. So that's it. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel and buy all of my products on the Blender market and Gumroad. Follow me on other platforms and support my work.